Joseph's parents were looking for a house to live in, but they couldn't find any nice house. A couple of hours later, they finally found a house. There was one odd thing about it that Joseph didn't like. Behind it was an old abandoned house. Joseph didn't know why it was behind it, but he decided to just ignore it. But when Joseph got his room, he could see that abandoned house clearly from his window. Mom, couldn't Dad find any other house? I don't like my room. I could see that abandoned house from my window. Joseph, don't you notice the struggle of your dad's work trying to find a decent place to live? Then you guys can take my room and I'll take the other bedroom that you were going to get. Joseph, don't throw tantrums. Instead, you can help me sort out the house and you can decorate your room the way you like it. I'll never get the master bedroom, I knew it. A few days later, Joseph started to get used to the room. But one night, something creepy happened. Huh? Who is that? Mom, I saw someone standing in the window of that abandoned house. Please come into my room and see. Where, Joseph? There's no one there. Mom, I swear there was someone standing in that window. Well, if you really saw someone, it's probably just some kids playing a prank on you. I mean, think about it. Pranks are always happening in the neighborhood. So maybe it was just a group of pranksters. <sighs> I guess my mom was right. Pranks always happen around neighborhoods. I guess it's some of those kids trying to prank me. Whatever I do, I need to teach them a lesson. Okay, what did I take? Let's see. I'll be taking this. And what else should I take? Oh, I also need a flashlight. Yep, this will work. I'm out of the house now. Okay, here we go, all loaded, and it's time to face the pranksters. Let's just do this. 